Uh, welcome to the Data Future channel, and this is Shaker. So today we are going to see how we can uh, use uh, MS Excel for the time series forecasting. So time series forecasting using MS Excel. So um, let me show you the data first. So this is the data. So data is basically uh, containing the one uh, date column, and second one is the value column. So this value we have to predict for the future dates. So now this is the this is the yearly data. You can see here from 20, uh, 2007 to 2022, this data is there. And now you have to predict for 2023, 2024, and 2025. Okay, so on, okay, uh, so, this is uh, this is these are the values. So uh, these sales we have to predict or the forecast we can say. So uh, this is the historical data. So let us jump into the example. So you have to select the data first. Once you select this data, you have to go to the here on the ribbon. There is a data tab is there. Just click on the data on the right hand side. There is a forecast sheet is there. And when you click on this directly, you will get the forecasting till 2026. So I want it's uh, uh, you, you, you can change it here to 2023. You will see this. Uh, so this graph is all about the sales. This is the actual values. This is the forecasted values. And this is the lower bound. And this is the upper bound um, uh, confidence bound, we can say. So I want it till 2025 and also there are two options if you want it's a bar chart or uh, you want as a line chart. So basically we are preferring a line chart so we'll select the line chart. There are again uh, the options are there you can change the confidence interval like this. Okay. Uh, so mostly it will be a 95% uh, confidence interval and uh, seasonality it will directly at uh, uh, detect automatically and uh, these things and we have to include the uh, forecast statistics also so when you close this uh, or minimize this and when you click on the create what you will see uh, the new sheet is directly generated and it will give the statistics now i will uh sorry sorry what is here so i will uh okay so first let me reduce the size of this chart and let me bring it here okay so mm -hmm. okay now you can and and here is something yes so you have to shift it up okay huh so uh, you can see this is the uh, basically a chart where uh, where you can see uh, this thing the everything in uh, in this uh, chart so it's the forecasted chart is there so and we have predicted till 2025 from 2023 2024 and 2025 so this uh, this uh, this is the upper bound lower bound is there and these are the actual values okay so this is the forecast now you can see the statistics here so it is also uh, it gives the values that is the forecast sales from 2025 22 to 2025 and here is the the confidence uh, interval okay and these are the forecasted values so these forecasted values uh, for 2023 2024 2025 okay now here you can see the error matrix uh, uh, main absolute square error is there uh, is there so s map is there so ma main main absolute error is there root mean uh, squared error is there so these metrics are there uh, with which you can you can see 
uh, how your uh, chart is accurate based on this matrix so uh, so this is very